and then I want to replace <laughs> the head with Margaret, the ashes that I have here. And so I and then I can dress up Margaret like a person. What? And then give it a like an auto blow mouth. What's Margaret? Margaret's the lady that came with my house. Oh God, is that racist? Wait, oh, Abby is it. going to Doing murder this. you. Oh, if you oh get that Abby thing. is. Yeah, Abby he is. Why? How do you keep getting your card stolen? Are you retarded? Yeah, that is one of the grossest things I've ever. Wait, <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> oh, wrestling! It's like rubbing around in each other's. Damn, dude! Rude. Like, just you could have said no. <laughs> like, dude, they let a four-year-old eat that many <laughs> mayonnaise sandwiches. <laughs> dude, you know some of that shit crossed over. Dude. Yeah. Did you have undiagnosed PTSD? This is real sad. Oh yeah, I'm looking at it again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I like it. I, I watched. Uh, Gamer hole leaves the claps in, like animals, like we, like us though. Fucking savages. Yeah, savages. <laughs> okay, we got my gear, other. We got gear out of the way in the first three seconds. Yeah, the other sorry. snack I have. I'm not done yet. I want to keep going or, in on the game roll. On the game roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I you can't get it out of the way that quick. Have you noticed that? Oh, your lighting guy? looks really nice right now. Oh, thank you. I have a. It I, looks very classy. Yeah, you look. I like was a going fucking... for a classy look. I need a martini or something. It looks like a piece of KFC chicken under yeah. the little red light that they Damn, dude, yeah, you warm. <laughs> I'm gonna jump through the screen and nibble on you. Yeah, look at oh that. Uh, I'm not gonna stand light. up for a while, but <laughs> for something else. <laughs> My legs hurt. Uh, no, I was looking at that gamer hole thing, dude. Hexloom is just he is giving it his all on there. Yeah, that's what they all do a pretty good job. And yeah. he didn't. I feel like you. I feel like I'm walking into something. Us? Why are you I, yeah, walking into that... something? I'm just saying, like, okay, so I know everybody else personally on there. And so they know that I like them. But I'm saying I don't know Hexloom. And I'm saying he's doing a damn good job at the oh, Gamer Hole nice podcast. Yeah. yeah, I really liked this intro where I was in it. That was my what, favorite once. What, what, is there, like, a personal bias there? Or was it just... Well, I just thought it was the funniest <laughs> the best. But <laughs> I was like... You said like a league above. Maybe like the handsomest out of all the other interests. League of their own. Yeah. Mm. Very Susan. Uh, Does he edit the podcast Brandon. or is he in the podcast? He's the editor. Yeah, he's okay. the editor. Okay. And he oh, also shit. does so you're like. Just throwing it, shit. You're throwing shit at No, Skull, he man. also does like no. his own separate okay. intros with like a storyline almost. Yeah. Where he had like an arc. Holy that shit. That led oh. through multiple episodes, like little two minute fob tack was in one. I saw that. Yeah. I was in one. Yeah. It's like, what does Stalt do? I'm just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> you guys keep bringing shit at Stalt. And I'm, I'm, what I do would you never sound like I don't want to compare like the two. I don't, I don't yeah. want to, I didn't want to, I didn't, this wasn't well, meant when, to disparage Have you ever Stalt. gone, have you ever, uh, you've never opened up a podcast going, you know, Stalt is doing a wonderful job. He yeah. is throwing it but back. You all know? I am saying is, if we had Hexloom, we would be unstoppable. Oh my God! <laughs> Go on, let's let's get Stolt something nice, okay? It's his birthday coming up. Is it? Uh, I probably. <laughs> I mean, the odds are it's sometime coming up. It's yeah, they, coming, probably within yeah. the next nine months. Uh, what are the odds though. that it already passed this year? Yeah, it was like last week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we should we should get him though some like engraved or something. Yeah, like maybe pictures of us. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> great! You yeah. love that the audio recordings of us, like one of those teddy bears. You squeeze it, and it's us talking. Yeah, for like two hours at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Someday he's oh, just like a whole podcast guys. recording. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, now edit that. <laughs> uh, the uh, uh, you know what's funny is I talked to him for like the first time in like I felt so horrible. Maybe like a month or two, like. We we were on Discord. So by your decree, that means you guys aren't friends anymore. Basically, because you yeah. waited a month to talk Fake to friends. each other. Okay. Yeah, and um, yeah, I was like halfway through the conversation. Of course, it just picked up like nothing had happened, <laughs> and we were back to being best buds. But like afterwards, I was like, that was nice. When was the last time I talked to that fucking guy? And then on his end, he's right? probably just like. <laughs> having to deal with editing hours of us talking and i'm sure well, he probably not just this saw month me. yeah not this month <laughs> yeah i'm true. sure he, he <laughs> just went and talked to me and was like Ugh, more of this fucking guy even though he hasn't yeah. seen me in forever you know speaking of the not this month thing these patrons dude have you seen on there they are just they 
they're feisty. They're uh, they're raving lunatics. They're ra- ravaging and uh, they okay. I lowered the price by <laughs> half for the podcast, and then that was like less, a year ago, wasn't it? No, that was like two months ago, and they're already back ago. to complaining like entitled brats. Fifty percent off, and all of a sudden you're just like. Um, I'm going to take my $5 and go elsewhere. Yeah. Let's put that back up. Let's teach yeah. them a yeah, lesson. Yeah. Teach them a lesson. We're, We're doubling 15, that shit. You know what I mean? I've been, yep. I've been watching a lot of succession, and this should not go unpunished. The yeah. amount of inflation routine. went up 6.8 or something like that last year. We need to at least bring it up to like 7 bucks did or you, something. Did, I, I loved there was a comment, too. You released that uh, uh, the failed video. Yeah. And someone's like, wow, everyone starts like complaining and you break and release this, like, stick to your guns, okay? Like, <laughs> yeah. don't give a, don't give in. Like, you can't please them no matter what you do. There's no No, that guy that yeah, my inner my inner voice made a account and commented that is what that is. Oh, yeah, because that's what I was thinking. I was like, <laughs> fucking starve them, man. Yeah, In that failed you... episode, we were talking about that. Like, what if we just post them all at the beginning of one month and then the end of the following yeah. month and they get like yeah. whew, Crumb, they get like dude, 55 man. days of nothing. There's people mad as hell being like, yeah, maybe you guys would have 2 million subs if you didn't fucking <laughs> Like, if you actually had a schedule, yeah, all these real podcasts have a schedule. It's like, yeah. We're, we're just guys hanging out. Okay? This wasn't just, meant to be this big. Yeah, it was yeah. not That's meant true. to be this big. And we weren't supposed to be here, you know? Yeah. It was supposed yeah. to be Sam depressingly talking about his life. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, movies and shit or and whatever. See, so, yeah, well, I started it to complain and... about my life. And then it yeah. turns out that I really didn't. I'm like a white guy in the South, and I have a lot of money. I have nothing to complain yeah, about. I got a, you have like a wife nice and a new family. house. Yeah. 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 Kid, healthy kids. I had, like, a story about just Abby hanging bras on doorknobs, and then I, like, complained about that one episode. I was like. I need some co-hosts. Like, <laughs> right now, I've ran out of every conflict I've had in the past five years in one episode. I'm not <laughs> relatable anymore. I, know. <laughs> I, have, I don't have enough life experience. <laughs> Man. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. But yeah, fuck you. Yeah, patrons, fuck you. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> shut up. Get out. <laughs> Uh, call them a bunch uh, of pee pigs. Yeah. Yeah, but mm. but thanks for sticking with us. Also. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no back, yeah, we, no backpedaling, yeah. dude. We Come liked on, it you when you, you liked guns. us. We don't like it when you don't like us. That's that's yeah. not what be we more, be more nicer to us. Yeah, be like like <laughs> us more for sure. Yeah. The worse Come we on, treat you, you should like us more. Like a dog, you know, if you like yell at a dog, they come under your feet and they roll over and go like, oh, we want you to do that. When we're when we neglect you, you should try harder to get our affection. I found quite the opposite. When you're really mean to a dog, they don't want to be in the same room as you. They <laughs> they right. fear you. Okay, they the run. difference is what you <laughs> no, consider I'm... mean and what I consider mean are totally yeah. different things. Yeah. Putting I a just... gun in its mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you to save it strike safe that. Cut yeah. that out. I think that counts as a death threat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dog death threat. Dude, I, I looked at, uh, I was looking at your Instagram the other day, Sam, and I just did, I don't know if I'd ever realized how your dog just looks so weird. Like, I really like it. But it looks so odd. Like, it looks like Scrappy Doo or something. I, I don't I know. I haven't seen your dog in like years. What does I, okay, it look so like now? I don't like hang out with other people's dogs, right? And dogs and so just weird. Just, like, like, so normal. I thought it was normal, right? And the, okay, the only other dogs I could compare it to is my in laws have uh, Dotsons, which it's like you go over a there and it's it's a, dog, yeah, right? it's like a yeah, it's a Willy Wonka yeah. dog. And then I come back home, I'm like, oh, mine's like just normal, like theirs. And then. Do uh, you have my, a picture of his dog? I want to see this shit now. Go on yeah. the General Sam Instagram. There's some weird I, uh, <laughs> thing there's... sitting on him or something. It just looks like <laughs> it's a strange it's looking just, dog. It's oddly shaped. Yeah. Well, my my uh, my brother's the bitch ex wife now. Yes. By the way, he got a divorce. Um, yep. <laughs> yeah. Good for him. Freedom. Hey, you right? know, hey Zach, if you're listening to this, you know why that divorce was so expensive? Because it was worth it. You know, you get what you pay for. Oh man, and you get you bought that freedom. And now you get to sit at home eating uh, the only thing you can afford, uh, Kraft mac and cheese every night with hot dogs cut up in it. Woo! The, a little hot the sauce dinner in of there. champions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get a little tummy ache yep. afterwards. But, but uh, anyways, his, his ex-wife brought over her dog, which looks exactly like mine, but with a normal body. Like it has body. like yeah. a dog body with legs and everything. And my dog just... <laughs> Mouth. I, yeah. 
Mine eyes. just looked like a defective <laughs> version. Like it was cut yeah. off of what, hers what and then they breed? grew separately. What breed is your dog? We got we got one of those like blood <laughs> test kits to like a 23 and me for dogs. Yeah. And they came back and they were like <laughs> Stumps me, dog. Like this thing. Some sort of super mutt got gang yeah. banged by like twenty Beast dogs. Of no this nation. This, this, this thing out. was like they. It has some basset hound in it. It has some pit bull, and it has golden some retriever human. in it, and it has uh something else in it. That is, it's just cool. nothing. It's just a load of nothing, which I love because uh you know mutts <laughs> often have really strong immune systems. Yeah, mutts are definitely. That's the way to go. They're you, healthier. Yeah. yeah. Unless they like. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I'm looking at it again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait, which yeah, one? I, I which like one? It. What picture are you referring I'm to? I'm looking at like your most recent now, and it's That's just got, like, like weird, stumpy little legs. Yeah, and, she like, has yeah. tiny little legs. And yeah. she's got know, the, like, she's you, got like the basset hound front legs where they kind of like meet in the middle before going back oh out. God. They're like bowed this, out when she's standing. This picture yeah. where you yeah. guys are sitting together, it just looks <laughs> like Scrappy Doo or something. It's <laughs> it does, it does. Yeah. He has the head of a Scrappy Doo and the body yeah. of a fat like dachshund. Okay, <laughs> which by the way, that is also a recreation of a picture that Poob did. But Poob oh, is wait, still it's, it's more violent, fucking... where he's got the dog in like a headlock. And yeah, yeah. Well, that's, uh, got this fucking arm under its throat. Yeah. It's fucking kill me. No, that dog loves that stuff. He's a goofball. <laughs> that's how Do we that. play. Yeah, I remember my brother uh, saying that to my mom every time that I had a fucking like a black eye or he had thrown a rock and <laughs> fucked up my head. The mom, yeah. that's just how we play. <laughs> He's just a goofy little guy. Yeah. Oh God! Yeah, <laughs> stupid, stupid freak dog. Love that. Stupid. Love that girl. It's just Love. funny imagining you like going upstairs and playing with a dog too. I don't know why. I just <laughs> why you're so you're so cruel in this world that when I just imagine you go upstairs and you have like this family, kids, and this dog. Like there's yeah. just a dog there. Awesome. And, and, and you know say? the weird part what? is, is they all <laughs> love me. Saying, That's like, the weird yeah, part. They love yeah. you. That is crazy. Yeah. You've done yeah. well. If I if Lord I don't, thigh, right? you would think I would go up there and everybody would be quaking in their boots. Ugh. Like, yeah, he came up. <laughs> go back down the stairs. <laughs> it's, it locks from the outside. The you top know, of purple, the stairs. Yeah, you know, purple nipple to your dog and each individual nipple. Just yeah. like, hey, bitch. <laughs> Dude, my, five more to go, bitch. Uh, my me and my dog, we play rough, and I'm the only person that plays rough with her. So she's obviously we're like we're tight. Yeah, but how we, rough? You just all... kick her in the head and stuff? <laughs> no, like, uh, no, you do this thing where you put her on her back and then you like spin her like a top, Aww. <laughs> and she goes whoa, and then hops well, like up a, on her on her feet, like a dreidel, <laughs> like a dreidel, family. yeah. And that's uh, cool. That's how I keep the tradition <laughs> alive, Dad. If you're watching this, yeah, I don't. He's the dude. I'm sure he's watching. This. I don't celebrate Hanukkah, but I do spin my dog. <laughs> On the floor, a little dreidel and on some song. Occasions we yeah. grease up the dog so he spins more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what have you been up died. to since the last? Oh, but <laughs> that's what you've been up to. So what are you doing? Meatloaf died. Yeah. Meat, yeah. I don't know if you guys know these pictures or not, but oh, uh, meatloaf yeah. died. Yeah. Yeah, meatloaf died today. So isn't he like anti-vax and shit or something? I have no idea. He died I don't of know COVID and he wasn't anything vaccinated. about meatloaf except for don't talk shit about a, the, a brother of ours that he was meatloaf. in Fight Club. Yeah, and was that he in fight? the like "Bat Out of the Hell" song. Yeah, I know he was, and yeah. uh, also like he's referenced all the time in oh, shows because he he's just like ridiculous. <laughs> I know nothing about this man. I just know he's a he he's he's a big old fat guy. Is he an anti-vaxxer? I should probably take down this memorial no. I got going don't on. Have, don't have like some ah. political quake in your boots thing. Let's not. Let's not. I'm not going to yeah. call him anti vax Yeah, I, if he he's anti-vax and died of COVID, that's come on. He he wasn't anti. I I don't see anything about him being anti-vax. But like nowadays, if you're not vaccinated, everyone just considers you anti-vax. Mm. But I don't actually know. I think he just wasn't vaccinated and he died. Well, it does take... Like, I wouldn't be vaccinated if my wife didn't drag me out of the fucking house to go do it. See? Because, like, I hate Are you anti vax Probably not. I just hate having to go all the way across town to my doctor and have him do it. 
Yeah, well, you also don't leave the house. Yeah, it's true. Or interact with anyone. I Meat interact Loaf's with the probably kids. Probably got tours. You interact with the kids, true. Yeah, yeah that is the, a little. But the kids are constant. They're the gateway to my bad health. That's why I'm always sick. It's because they're constantly coughing in like, each I, other's you faces. You sound like you're gonna get sick again. Like I already, wish you uh, wouldn't have got I woke vaccinated. Up and I'm feeling and a little yeah. funky. Yeah. yeah. If you're vaccinated and you get COVID or whatever this much, if you weren't vaccinated, you'd probably be dead by now. Me? If yeah. Brian for sure. Stalt and I would be running yeah. this this place. <laughs> they're running this shit would be to the ground. Awesome. <laughs> every yeah. every time. Uh, Every time a new wave comes out, you're like, maybe this one, this might be the okay. one. Patrons, if you've got your Patreon set to auto renewal, don't get vaccinated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> go out in public. If you don't, go get vaccinated and stay alive and keep coming back every month. I think I might have mentioned this last time, but my credit card got like. Oh, stolen for steak? No, it. <laughs> yeah. Not the not the stolen yeah, for steak one. part. That was Abby's credit card. Mine got stolen oh. for some other tomfoolery. Oh, so hers got declined after like three steaks. <laughs> Yours, <laughs> <Yeah>. though. <laughs> the point is, is that I had a bunch of shit on auto renewal that I didn't even realize was still a, uh. a thing, and I had to like. Like I was paying for like a running app for like three years or something like that. Dude, I remember I'm you so telling me that. that. Yeah, you were you were paying for this app. And I'm like, and it was on your old phone. You don't even use it anymore. It was like years later. I'm like, yeah. just cancel it. No, I, can, like, I canceled. It. Yeah, it was on auto thing. I thought I canceled it. I forgot yeah. about that. I told you about that. Yeah. Then that was over a year ago. Then my card got stolen, and then they sent me an email, and they're like, hey, we're having problems auto-renewing this running app from, like, your Android phone from 2017. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was yeah. paying for this thing every month for... Oh, my God. Or every year was a year. I did, like, the 12 month. Never do the 12-month renewal. No. Because you'll forget about it by that time. I you uh, getting your card stolen? Are you retarded? Yeah. Um, I what buy a lot doing? of like weird, sketchy shit, and I, I should. BDSM and toys and I should craft. use PayPal, but I never use PayPal. You should because it's like a that's for like the business stuff. I just send you guys. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is how it works. At the end of the year, I send. I got my tax form done. I'll Abby send is going to murder this. you oh if you don't God. get that thing. Yeah, bring he it, is bitch. Alive. <laughs> I'll knock her head off. <laughs> Dude, honestly, fuck? I am fucking terrified. I go in there and she's been working out like twice a yeah. day. I'm gonna have to get security I'm sorry, or something. I was joking, ma'am. <laughs> she's getting yeah, like yeah. She's, <laughs> she's stout now. She's got like shoulders and shit. I'm like. <laughs> Fuck, dude, like, like, I'm scared. She went from like a gelatinous blob to like a person now. She's yeah. like, got like shoulders. <laughs> She's like ripped all of a sudden. Knees. It's just scary. She's in there always working out. I'm like, are you are you planning on murdering me or something? Like, that what's going scary. on? Yeah. But yeah, Abby, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I'll get that in like ASAP. Dude, Abby's gonna be sitting in a dark room, and you're gonna walk in, and she's just gonna be like, "Well, she's gonna Sam. do the, the classic yeah. click on the light, and it's going to bathe <laughs> yeah. her, and the yeah. light she'll be a silhouette in the corner <laughs> before she turns it on." I'll be so she's scared because like, the light will be rippling off her like muscle fiber. What's that uh, called? Like muscle striations or whatever. You'll see. I don't know. I've yeah, never just, worked out just, long enough. To... Okay, she, she has a glass of egg. Like, yeah. Just glass of egg. It. Oh, God. Yeah. She just, like, hey, did, uh, did that fat fuck of yours, of yours and that retard with a dumb mustache, did they turn they into those forms those yet? W9 Which one am I? <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry, I need Spitty. to catch up with her. If you guys see all of a sudden I'm losing weight, oh, I'm getting like, muscular. I thought you meant like you need to talk to her more. No, you're gonna, you're gonna try like, to get we, need, we need to though. have a we need to have a cup of coffee. This has been a month yeah. since we've talked. <laughs> Oh my god! thinks I've been distant. No, that's just like <laughs> even with the people I live with, I've just shut off. Yeah, because you have a separate like room now. It's like a detached from the house, right? Yeah. Not, a, dude. So I, had a, I had a contractor come in and he walled up part of it so when yeah. bizzle comes over he'll have some privacy and so like yeah it's now i'm in a i'm in a cage you should dude. have like a full ass like kitchen and everything and they're like you should make it so that you never I have, have I to have, leave i made a, a hot plate cart with a cutting board and everything yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can literally never see abby again <laughs> she can just tell her to deliver the food yeah. at the door oh yeah, my just lord bring the kids by i'll kiss their forehead through the yeah. mail slot yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten sick enough of these kids. Yeah. How old is she now? Oh my god. Yeah, well, you're dead. 
Oh man. Uh, you less. get the dog, she gets the kids, you guys. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so the uh you guys, mm. I pay you guys through PayPal, right? At the yeah, end of the sucks. year, I send the. I thought you started direct depositing for poo. No, 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 no. What the hell happened? Oh. No, we just, it just do PayPal. Didn't work His out. stupid yeah. PayPal oh. thing was busted. We fixed it. Anyways, oh, okay. at the end of the year, That's I send good. all those transactions to my CPA, and he figures like who got what and everything, and then we do the tax form. If I'm buying like sex toys and stuff online, I don't want to use the PayPal because then my CPA is going to be like, oh, look what he bought. For, yeah. from this website or whatever. Whatever, it's just some person. You know? Yeah, on. it's just what a, the yeah. But it's not everybody has sex, so like a sex toy is normal. But the sex a toys BDSM I'm buying, camp uniform for a dog, is really yeah. weird. Yeah, <laughs> auto blow. What the hell is this? Auto blow. Well, I didn't realize it was this bad, Sam. <laughs> Sorry. It was for a review. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing exactly? An OnlyFans subscription to just voice recordings of a woman? <laughs> what the hell is this? But anyway, so I, I use the card, like a, my card for some website and uh, to, to buy some sex stuff. Then my card all of a sudden was frozen. Pervert. Yep. <laughs> my card was frozen because they said there, there was like stuff. some weird activity going on on it. So I went down to the bank and I was like, hey, I would like a new card because like mine got frozen or whatever. And the guy was like, oh, okay. And he goes and gets me a new card. He's looking at his monitor and I'm like, hey, do you, can you see like what transaction is the one that caused the card to like freeze? Like what what set it off? And he like scrolls down and I can see that he's like looking at like four like days Clint prior. Ripper 300 yeah. X5. <laughs> like it was some weird shit like that. He saw the website <laughs> and it was called something dirty and he was just like, oh, I don't know. It's not showing me. I'm like, it's showing you. You just don't want to say <laughs> Uh, purchase for big from big poles tight holes.com. Yep, eight hundred dollars. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> requires a pallet truck. Oh my yeah. god, what a mannequin buy? with a life size cock. What is this? Oh man, I've been wanting to get a mannequin and oh my, oh my god, god, take the fucking head ever. off, oh. and then I want to replace <laughs> the head with Margaret, the ashes that I have here. And so I can, and then I can dress up Margaret like a person. What? And then give it a, like an auto blow mouth. What's Margaret? Margaret's the lady that came with my house. Oh God. Is that racist? What Wait, is that? Oh no. What is that? Okay. What is it? I it says Tito's. That. Is that Tito's? Yeah. Yeah. It's I thought that, Tito's vodka. I thought those were little red oh. lips. Oh, no. Like, oh, like a Mr. Popo. It, <laughs> yes. It looks yeah. like that. <laughs> Mr. Popo here. It actually no, does okay, look like so, that. Okay. Uh, so I'll, I'll, it's not so cold anymore. I'll take off her sweater. Did you put those googly eyes oh on God, it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah of course. Please. Jesus Christ. Of course I put it on there. No, Mar Margaret, uh, they left some dead ladies' ashes in the house, and I, we found oh, them. And you put googly eyes on it and a fucking t-shirt? Well, yeah, it was cold. So I was like, I'll put a sweater on her. She needs to be warmed up. But we, we, we called the people that owned, the, that owned her, and they were like, she, that was my mother-in-law. She was kind of a bitch, and they just they were like, you can keep her. We're already gone. Oh, my God. So I guess what she's mine fuck? now. What the fuck? But, so you're gonna put her soul into a mannequin? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, find a vessel for her. Very soul. risky. Is that very risky? Uh, is she have gonna I, move? Have I, have I told you before about the mannequin with a soul in my high school? Um, wait. Before you what? before you tell this story, are you in, are you insinuating that if I take Margaret and place her in the stead of a mannequin head, that she could become animated? <clears throat> Yeah, you're not yeah, gonna have cartoon. sex with it or whatever. Oh, okay, never you're mind. Thinking. Never mind. Yeah. Well, but, I mean, uh, like, if I pour her ashes into like the auto blow. Like, oh my that, god! Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Will, uh, little tongue action start <laughs> happening. Or, uh, no, I, there's a there's a teacher in my school. I feel like I've talked about this before. Maybe not. I'm not even the one to talk about this. I have a friend who's got a better experience with it, but he's kind of just. Uh, <clears throat> He wasn't really like a whack job or anything. He's a nice guy, but he did. He had a mannequin in the room that had sunglasses on in like full, okay. uh, full like military outfit kind of. And we'd be like, "What? What's up with that? Like, what's going on?" And he's like, "Oh, that's Larry. It's my friend that died in Vietnam." Like, it basically, it was like a tribute in a way to his friend that died in Vietnam with him. Not like with he didn't die. But uh, 
And it was just like really oh, weird. I but thought he, would, he was a student with the mannequin. No, no, okay, no, no. no. He, and he would he okay. would do like bits like I don't know, Larry, like what he, like he would talk to it all the time in class, be like, Larry, like, do you think they were cheating on that test or not? And <laughs> Larry he'd, he'd, do the, he'd do the weirdest bits. He was like the computer. <laughs> would he talk? Class oh, teacher. Would he talk in Larry's voice? Yeah, what's going on? Man? Yeah, 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 like no. That. But we would joke about <laughs> yeah, like how he would reply. <laughs> 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 this is real sad. Yeah, no, it was, it was really weird. And he, he, he had a little, Larry. he had a little like hamburger phone. And any time like we'd be working, and we'd. uh We'd make like a really basic animation or something, like something super bad, like horrible. But it'd be like, ring, 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 ring. Like, hello, who's this? Walt Disney. You guys are making Shrek 5 and you need some students to help you make Shrek 5. All right, then. And he'd be, he'd be like, Larry, who should we pick from the class to help him make Shrek 5? <laughs> And he'd do that bit like once a week. Where he'd be like, <laughs> so he'd be, week? He'd, he'd be like, <laughs> what, what's five? that? You guys are making Cars 3? Oh. All right, I'll see if I can get some students. And he's like, if you guys work real hard, maybe one day you can work at Disney. You, you know what's great like, is I bet you he at some point got shadowed by like, you know, the, the school board will send someone to yeah. 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 Like, You spend like 5 or 6% <laughs> of your class week Doing this hamburger <laughs> phone bit with the like, keep, keep, tell, keep telling people just, they're gonna be working for Disney. It was like everyone in the class too. Anytime you do it, be like, oh god. Did you go and to a like, fucking he, clown school? Like he thought it was funny, school. dude. My school was awful. It's yeah, it was very bad. Shit. Well, it, okay. Like, in his fun. defense, it is funny. Like it was so no, lame it is to funny. you. It, it was so lame to like, you. But now that you're older, you've realized how funny it is to have a captive audience like that talking to your dead friend. I don't know if he knew how funny it was. Also, like, picking Shrek was so great. But he'd be like, well, you're making Shrek 5. (laughs) Okay, I guess I'll ask around. And we'd always talk about, like, the mannequin always had the sunglasses on. And, like, every once in a while, if you'd hear, like, a strange noise in the class, it'd be like, Larry's, like, still, like, he's plastered inside a mannequin. (laughs) If you take the sunglasses off, it has his real eyes behind it. And, like, you could just hear him every once in a while go, like, "Mm." (laughs) <laughs> when he's like larry what do you think and it like got hyped up so much like this lore and myth around this mannequin and he still does it like he still has that fucking thing in there like i would I know, if i was him, i would cut a hole in the back of larry and put a walkie-talkie in his chest cavity and then cut like a yep. hole out of his yeah. mouth so that like beep, beep. yeah he could well i wouldn't do a roadrunner thing but i'd do something else <laughs> yeah, yeah not roadrunner like a person i guess i don't know why that <laughs> like came to mind larry, beep, beep, beep. Yeah. larry like, sounds like an animal from a looney tunes cartoon yeah. from the 60s <laughs> yeah we ought to be whatever no yeah it'd be more like God damn it, the Viet Cong are surrounding <laughs> us. They're in the, they're in the trees. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, pretty horrifying. But speaking of mannequins with souls, that just reminded me of it. Mm. Everyone's got a mannequin with a soul story, so I just thought I'd share mine. Yeah, there's yours, yeah. Uh, possibly mine, and then Will Smith from I Am Legend. That's it. it. Oh, think, yeah. I think those are like the that was, three. That was scary. Yeah, that was a scary. Yeah. Guy. Do you think if Larry was still alive, like if he, he is, no, no, I'm saying like the original Larry before he got oh. transmuted into a, a, Trans- yeah. a mannequin. Do you think if He'd like what if that? they weren't even that good of friends? Like they were just kind of like like war buddies. Yeah, but he, yeah. he, he was just totally intending on going up. back home to Iowa and never talking to this guy ever again. Uh, and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna do a quick. I'm gonna Google Larry Mannequin and make sure this doesn't somehow like there wasn't like a news report like this is the saddest thing ever. <laughs> this yeah. teacher is Larry this Mannequin is like a off building. Uh, I didn't yeah. really have any insane teachers except for it, like my shop teacher. Usually it's a shop teacher that's the weird one, and our shop teacher was he used to teach inmates at a prison, so he was just Jesus Christ hard as nails. He would just make you look like a fucking idiot by just staring at you. He would just, he, he would do that dad thing where he would put down what he was reading and just glare at you. And then you would have to, you would put down the circular saw or whatever you were fucking with at the time. He would almost yeah. never yell, but he just had a very menacing appearance. I, 
I had uh, another whack job teacher. This is a quicker aside. <laughs> right next to, they were in the same hallway. Like we it's used to joke, in the like, air there. put <laughs> them in this weird hallway out of the way. Dude, of the rest of the doing his darndest to fucking get these teachers to track him down. <laughs> like, yeah, no, th this if this you one could find kill me. out. Like if you do dog's poop, you're gonna have so many scoopies to give out all these individual people in this town that he shit on. <laughs> Here's Dude, I'm not really segment. <laughs> this guy was just weird. Uh, he only worked there for like two years, but he was like the engineering teacher or something, which was like super new to our school. And he, I remember him talking about like when I was a child, like you could buy monkeys out of a magazine, like a newspaper ad, <laughs> like 20 at a time. And submarine, like my father bought submarines and they just like take submarines around in lakes, like one person <laughs> submarines that his dad like built or bought. Yeah, you get a kit and, for him. Yeah, yeah, and they just had like twenty monkeys, and he's like, they ship them on a train. Eighty percent of them die, but the ones that make it, you could buy for like ten dollars. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. You're like, we we're all like, what? Like, that was back when, like, like my mom used to go to the fair, the state fair, and they would like, you could win little baby alligators and shit. Oh, and then yeah and then when they got big and you would like they would bite your finger you'd go all right and you'd like flush them down the toilet or twist their head off or whatever yeah what the like fuck? smack yeah. it on the counter <laughs> yeah. Wait, jesus christ it's crazy it's crazy how cruel we have been to animals yeah but not now Sigma we're really cool now. yeah yeah now yeah. we're good well we keep seeing like all that fighting they're doing in the rainforest so i think brazil's starting to cut that shit down so they can kind of get the civil unrest handled yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the Tasmanian devil back. Let's somehow <laughs> genetically bring them back. Uh, yeah, I wish I could buy a whole train cart full of monkeys, but <laughs> yeah. that's just not the world we live in anymore. Or a no, submarine. There's still people living in those uh, Roebuck houses that you could order. Roblox houses? Ro like Sears and Roebuck before Roebuck and Sears like this. made a... Uh, I used to love what? Sears when I was a kid. How did they fuck that up? They they were like... You, you know, when you, for, for you whippersnappers out there, when you play Red Dead and you go to the general store and they have that little mm -hmm. pamphlet, that big book, and you go through it and go, oh, you can buy a rifle here. And then you go to the back and you go, oh, I can buy a whole wardrobe. That's based off a real thing. That's the Roebuck catalog. Yeah. In the Wild West, you could just go to the general store... Get their little catalog and go, yep, I want that farmhouse. Get me uh, a windmill, uh, 20 monkeys, and these knickerbockers are looking good. And then you order all that shit, get a Winchester <laughs> for $4. They ship it to you, and you just put it all together. And these fucking people, had that's like the first order service company, <laughs> I think, in the U.S., and they couldn't wrap their heads around Amazon. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> like how, do, how does a company with those roots... Not understand not what Amazon's shit. doing. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. want shit sent to them. They're <laughs> like, whoa, like this is insanely new. <laughs> like, come on, man. Uh, that's know. fucking nuts. I didn't know you could buy houses and shit. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, they would just like bring it on a train cart and then put it on the back of a wagon and dump it off there at your plot of land. God, it probably took a fucking long ass time now. Two day delivery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't two day delivery. It was like a week oh, or something. Fuck. Yeah. Even a week would be impressive for a whole house. <laughs> yeah. It's just probably like fucking wild. No, it was, you know, it was like eight months or something. Yeah. So that is just a deed, right? Yeah. It's, it's not like... Just throw it on a train cart and put it <laughs> on a wagon. Well, like, throw a, a whole farmland. Yeah, just... Dude, like, okay, think about this. You now have like phone lines and the internet to make complaints and shit. Back then, like, what would they do if they're out in like the the frontier? They order a house and you just drop off like a the dog house, house. like the same house yeah. in the picture, <laughs> but just really small. It's just tiny. What are they gonna do? All right, I'm family, not, yeah, everybody, get on the next train. We're going into the big city and going to the Roebuck representative, and we're gonna chew him out. Like, what are they gonna do? Just ship him a tiny little dog house. Fuck them. You got their money. <laughs> Yeah, you think it, was a, it was priced at a dollar. What did you expect? Yeah, that sh that shit sucks. I have you ever seen the movie Midnight in Paris? No, I just watched it last night, so it's fresh on the mind. But it's about like, I w I wish I was born in another era. Like mm -hmm. I wish I was born back in the twenties. That's and then he goes back in time, and then all the people in the twenties are like, I wish I was born in that fucking eighteen nineties. Yeah, and then they're all like, I wish I was in the Renaissance. Like. 
I wish right now I was either born now or like in the future. Or like further, I don't yeah, want right? to go back <laughs> and be like, because the guy at one point is even like, oh shit, what happens if I run out of my antibiotics? Like I am yeah. fucked. <laughs> like I am so fucked back here. It's like, oh, it's beautiful. Like the art and the music, but like I would maybe for a day go back in time and like be like, oh, cool. Yeah, like cool. It's a fucking trip to a museum or something. Yeah. yeah, but I would never prefer to live back then when there's, like, no fucking... Like, yeah, like, you, what do you do? What do you do if your shit gets fucked? You have to take it in your wagon all the way over... It's, like, so much work all yeah. the time for everything. I wish Can't I was born a 100 years in the future just to see what the fucking VR haptic fuck bots Sex are like, you know? Are, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to maybe go, like, 30 or 40 years in the future for that. Well, I want to go... I want to go though, like a really thousand. Good. There, I want to go yeah. to Star Wars time. Mm, I want to go Star two thousand years in the future, when the world is probably like devastated. And yeah, one of the most depressing things I've ever seen was it was like a, it was like a small documentary with like a bunch of leading scientists describing to you why you will never have Star Wars like space travel just because of the insane distances and fuel costs and even if we get no. like light travel. Even faster than light, it's not going to happen. <laughs> no. Like, oh, man, you can go no. like, hey, do you guys want to go to Mars? It'll take like a couple hours or whatever. And then, but you're not going to go see Orion's belt or anything. Uh, once magic gets invented, though, or yeah, discovered, so that's what I'm holding out sometime for. Sometime in the future. We just don't need science for everything, we can rely on magic. Well, what if magic is just really advanced science that we don't understand? I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. I'll take I'll take some of that. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Insane yeah. science so unbelievable. It's magical. I think that's probably that's, where we're going. They said that about you, my penis. If so, you showed yeah. a caveman an iPhone. Yeah. Or something. Like, yeah. That's magic. <laughs> and they scream at it and they magic. just kill you. Yeah. Even <laughs> so in the in the Renaissance, if you shot him with a gun, they'd be like, oh. But I think yeah. gunpowder was invented back then. But if you come yeah. out with like a crazy no, gun, like, he shot I mean, like, a laser yeah. sight on it. I mean, out. like, uh, yeah, like if you showed him like an AK, they'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah. yeah, or like a rail gun or something. Yeah, something crazy. Mm. A laser gun. Yeah, something we have right now. Yeah. <laughs> laser. Gun. No, no, no. I said just a gun with a laser on it. Like oh, just put the oh, red like a laser yeah, pointer. Like, you see the red yeah. dot on that guy's fucking chest? Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Not a pistol, like a laser pointer. Yeah, yeah like, a just had one of the, like a pin and a laser pointer. Yeah. And a stylus. I showed them one of those. <laughs> and a stylus. <laughs> you know, speaking of like, I want to go back in time. I, I was once again watching. I'm like really on these 10 to 20 minute like little history documentaries. Like as short as you can get. Like, and like as as super concise as possible. I don't want this overarching history of something. I want like a what was blank like at the time. And there was like medieval duels. I was I told Brian about this last night. Oh yeah. But like yeah. medieval time was brutal, man. I don't want to go back to that shit. That was like the all the things that you hear about is just which you already read the the stories and see the movies and hear the songs of like medieval times where it was like the greatest parts. That was like or what seems like really harsh conflict or something that happens. That was as good as it got. <laughs> <laughs> For most people, it was like, I hope I get to 12 before I die of dysentery. You know, like, I don't want to go back yeah. to that shit. It was yeah. horrible. People would, like, live to the age of 30 and puke their guts out doing something. If you were in any army, you would be, your chances of just dying from actual sickness over getting stabbed are pretty high. But what, what I did hear that was pretty cool is if you got into, like, some sort of uh, uh, trial by combat with your wife, which was a thing you could do. It's very common. Have you seen yeah. the movie The Last Duel? Well, oh, was that wait, about? Wait, I thought you meant. Is that about? No, he doesn't fight wife? his wife. He fights uh, for his wife, kind of. Oh no, 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 no! This is like this is trying to kill his wife. This bitch cut her cooks off. meatloaf too many times in a row, and all of a sudden you yeah. get whoa, trial whoa, by combat. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he, apparently, if you're gonna have a duel to the death with your wife. They would make you, the man would have his arm tied behind his back and he would be in a ditch. And then besides yeah. that, it was even ground. So he would just walk out of the ditch and beat the shit out of that lady. Yeah. What, what, he with could one just hand. get up out of it? I don't know. <laughs> it was, well, how high is it? If it's up to his titties, that's kind of hard yeah, to do with that's one hard arm to, do. to climb out. Yeah. 
I would stab but her like, in the pussy, though. But, like, why would that though. matter? Because be if you had, like, a... I'd get her right in the yeah, pussy. Yeah, like, it'd probably be harder, it'd be harder to get him in any way. Like... Yeah, like, if you had a sword, you would just spin around like a blender. And, and take off her, her legs. legs off. Yeah, take yeah. her legs off. She'd just fall over and die. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> why is that face, boo? You guys should watch The Last Stool. Stop. Is it about a guy fighting his wife in a ditch? Fighting with one yeah, hand? Yeah, sure. Yeah, if we... It's like Ridley Scott's well, what second huge commercial flop this year. Oh, he's uh, really good at those now. That's his calling yeah, card. Been, <laughs> and then he's like, "You guys want to lose some money?" He, he loses a shit ton of money on like a pretty, you know, like a pretty decent movie, and then it's like, "You fuckers in your phones!" Like you don't want to watch a real movie. It's like, oh, it wasn't that great, dude. It was, <laughs> it was like very tense. There were like two, like pretty graphic, like rape scenes and it's like oh, man like yeah maybe a lot of people just don't want to see that shit when they go to the yeah. movie like i don't know and they also ben affleck is like a cartoon character and in the movie probably oh, couldn't have helped yeah. like with a horrible french accent and like blonde bleached hair mm. like mullet everyone looked kind of dumb but it was it was like the fighting was really good in the movie. That's what it makes a good movie. Yeah. The fighting. Good fight scenes, yeah. Good fight scenes, yeah, very tense. And Adam Driver, I mean. Woo. Yeah, right. he's cool. <clears throat> right? Yeah, cool. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm just trying to think of who that was. He's not I... cool in the movie, but no. Well, he looks good. Ridley like Scott is great at just make it like he he he's like the king of making movies that are shades of good. You know what I mean? Like, there's always some glaring issue with it. But, like, I, I'll always watch a Ridley Scott movie. Except for the both ones that came out this year. Well, I haven't watched any movies this year. Yeah. So, I, I'll well, put I'm them on AMCA my... Well, I'm an AMCA lister, so... Oh, yeah, I've you kind of have to movie. go... Yeah, you have to go... Actually, no, that's speaking of subscriptions <laughs> that you just forget about. I haven't <laughs> seen a movie in a while. Oh, and God. I'm paying every month for that. Pay, the worst uh... one, my biggest travesty is... I'm paying like seventy dollars a month for my gym. I haven't been in like three months. Wait, seventy dollars a month? What the hell kind of gym is that? It's like really nice, but <laughs> it I just sounds really fun. I, I, I was like, if I spend this much, then I'm gonna have to go to the gym. Yeah. And then I was just, I've just been like, oh, like I don't wanna. But if I oh my if God, I cancel dude. it, then I really never will go. So I'm kind of stuck in a loop. Also, I'm pretty sure I still pay for Xbox Live. Even though I haven't had an Xbox in <laughs> 10 years. years. Oh, yeah. I've been paying for the Nintendo equivalent since <laughs> I got I also pay for yeah. Nintendo. Yeah. yeah, dude. I've got probably like 30 active subscriptions yeah. going. And I don't... Oh, my I, God. I think my Switch hasn't been turned on since I went on a plane ride to go to PAX. I think I was the last I just don't look time. at my bank account. Christ. That's what I do. And then I don't have to worry about it until like tax season comes around. I'm like, I've got two hundred dollars. Like that does <laughs> seem to me that seems Yo, to me like the about. key to happiness. You know what I'm gonna do yeah, is I'm gonna go on to the Patreon thing. I'm gonna turn off notifications on my phone. And if yeah. if I just put bury my hand my head in the sand, I'll wake up every morning going, These people love us. Let's block yeah, all works. comments on everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, YouTube videos. Comments. I've stopped going on my YouTube Dude. dashboard like because I would be working my ass off on a video and love it. And then I would put it up and it was just like during a Great downtrend videos. on my channel. And it had nothing to do yeah. with the video quality itself. It was just YouTube just didn't like me that month, you know? Yeah. And so you get discouraged. Algorithm bullshit. It's a, I mean, yeah. no, but it's like 50% algorithm, 50% you're making stuff that doesn't resonate with people. I get that. I'm not going to blame the algorithm on everything. <laughs> yeah. But there's it's also algorithm. stuff that like I make it and I'm like, even if it doesn't resonate with people, I like it. Yeah. And then I hate like do it, making a video. And then they go and then I hit the thing and it goes, this is the 10th most viewed <laughs> video out of the last 10 you've made. And I'm like, fuck <laughs> you. Like, uh, this doesn't make me feel yeah. good. So I've stopped looking but, at yeah. analytics and stuff. And I'm going to put a ball gag on these patrons. Yeah, one negative comment really sticks out more than, you know, 20 nice comments. Too. It does. It's, not that there is a ratio like that, but, no, you know, if there was... That, you know. that would be awesome. But yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> really when it's go, 20 bad ones and one nice <laughs> we one. We should strive <laughs> to get patrons that kind of ratio where it's 10 nice ones and then one yeah, bad let's one let's see if we can do that yeah. this month guys that's why yeah we, we should try, yeah <laughs> see if we can get that quota <laughs> and then we'll just be reasonably depressed like a normal person yeah. would be looking for the bad comment yeah 
I know that exact thing though. Sometimes I'll look through the comments on the channel and I'll read, I'll blow by all these nice one. ones yeah. about how great everything is. And I'll see Boring. one guy. Yeah. I'll see one guy that just <laughs> yeah. does like a, a nuanced critique of my entire video and how it sucks. And I'm like, it just it hits too hard. It hits eight in the morning. <laughs> and then I just don't do anything for the rest of the fucking day. Cause I'm in like a slump. <laughs> What, wait, what's oh, an example? What's what, what's a really bad one? Okay, oh, especially if they're just like you're, just like some naked Jakey ripoff derivative oh. piece of shit. You rip got no, sucks, you yeah. got no talent. You're fucking the writing's cringy. You're fucking you all. You're propped up by Jippy on the podcast. You're propped up by Poob. The editing's propped up by Stalt. Your oh, life like is propped comment. up by Abby. You're it's nothing. So and it's just like just categorically breaking me down. So I feel like shit. I hope somebody writes that exact comment. Word they would word never. In your next no, video. they wouldn't do that. <laughs> just like a line of those. Just just a, boom, 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 boom. Hitting the bullet points. Yeah. Yeah, I actually oh don't hate God. that one. I don't hate that comment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, feel warm on the inside. Yeah, maybe, maybe we yeah. shouldn't comment that a lot. Yeah, yeah that'd be, yeah. That'd be yeah. funny. Mm. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should put like background music into these podcasts. We need to incorporate Jippy what? into these. Yes. Yeah. We need to be propped up by I Jippy don't think in these. He's propping up enough around here. He's got a yeah. strong back. I've talked to him one time. Yeah, you guys <laughs> yeah. have an understanding, though. <laughs> yeah. right? Let's bring him on the podcast, and we'll play his music in the background the entire time. The, yeah, and then we'll ask <laughs> him, like, is there any way that we can just use this for every guest that comes on? <laughs> it's a constant <laughs> playlist that cycles through. I'm Sometimes sure we just hit, hit, like, a, a like silence for like one second and i can't have that i can't have my own thoughts for yeah like, a, like a couple and seconds like so yeah whispering i need like, at the same time i need background music for when those points hit yeah well i noticed that you you yeah. have a hard time like if you focus on one thing you you don't like that because in case that one thing breaks concentration then then there's a lapse in something going on which might explain why you just DM'd me just your rough. fucking W9 in the middle of a podcast episode. <laughs> I'm just, I'm all over. We were talking, yeah. like, I realized it was just like me and Brian talking for like just like 30 seconds. And all of a sudden, I was like, huh, like, Poop's just kind of sitting there, like, I could tell his eyes were out of focus. Like, and it was him uploading a W9 to me. <laughs> uh, I just always keep a couple uh, irons in the fire or whatever they say, a couple coals in the fire. I'm always thinking a couple multi. coals in the fire. I think is <laughs> yeah, yeah, not it. <laughs> oh, it's uh, yeah. something with iron. Yeah, right? it's iron in, like in the fire. Yeah. You yeah. always keep a couple. Which is my uncle used to do blacksmithing. I realized that is a really bad saying because, like, I he made me do blacksmithing stuff like just a couple times, and just having the one iron in the fire. You pull it out and you have like 10 seconds to work on it before it's cold again. But then when you put it in the fire, you're like, if you get sidetracked talking to someone, it gets way too fucking hot. And you can have a piece, like if it's small enough, just melt away in the fucking coals. And so you'll have like, you'll have the end of it sticking out of the coals and you go to pull it. And it's just like the shit you've been working on is just gone. Oh, it's not there yeah. anymore. Yeah. I, uh. I have like a thing that could directly relate to this, but it's in my car right now. Do you have a my, a blacksmithing I, thing? Uh, yeah, I have like a, a blacksmith thing. Yeah, my my brother's dad was a blacksmith, <laughs> and he made uh, a sword, and I have it go in my suit car up. right I'm now. I'm gonna go get oh, mine. Yeah. Go get yours. Wait, you made a sword, or you just own a sword? Yeah, what do you have? I yeah. I made a Not shield. I made a shield and I well, made a, dude, an axe. It's gonna be so. Go get it. I'm gonna go have to go it. walk out. To go like it. people are gonna see me grab these swords out of my car. Grab a sword out it's of because my my mom's renovating. Like for years, my my childhood room is untouched. Like I, I'm like mom. It looks like I'm a kid that died here. Like my room looks like a memorial to me. It hasn't changed since I like moved out senior year of high school. Or freshman year of college. I didn't move out in high school. And uh, now she's gone completely the other direction where she's like, you have one day to come get anything you want. Like, I'm going to tear this whole place to the fucking ground Jesus and throw Christ. away everything. And so I scrambled over there. I grabbed all my Star Wars toys that I could find that, you know, my siblings hadn't 
lost Pilford. or destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. And I grabbed some GI Joes. I grabbed some, uh, some miscellaneous. And then I, I grabbed my swords because I was a sword kid. You know, I was Who a big knife yeah. sword kid. Yeah. I love that kind of stuff, dude. I, my brother had a Braveheart shield. Braveheart? Is that the name? Yeah. Yeah. Like a replica shield that was so badass. I was like, I, you know, stuff was very cool. I used to shoot bows at it and, and things. And did you use yours, or were yours ceremonial? Uh, I have a couple that were just like ceremonial. The rest, like my friend and I, yeah, we would, we'd like cling, 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 or like just whack trees with them and fuck them up. The, <laughs> oh the blacksmith God. one now is rusty as shit because I think I just left it outside. Hell yeah, one time. And I, I've talked about it once on this podcast. I remember once, yeah, we tried to like intimidate a neighbor kid by. We rolled up with like <clears throat> bows and swords to his house on my bike. And we're like, what's up? what's up? Like, I'm gonna fucking kill you, kid. What's up? And then we left. But, uh, it's like rusty. That dude. seems so much better because I was like five years younger than everybody on my block. So I was just the kid that nobody wanted to hang out with. And uh, so I was alone in my sword craftery. I would just be by myself beating the shit out of trees and my, my my mom had those elephant ears you know those plants oh those were oh, the yeah. best to be cutting up Whack dude up. yep yeah my uh my mom had uh what are they called oh my god <clears throat> some some flower oh, that starts as a little ball and i've talked about this before too i think <laughs> like ants crawl over it and like basically it's like very essential to the blooming process is like ants get all over it and do some shit to it and they bloom into like beautiful flowers you cut that fucker off but they're like stinky little balls with yeah. ants on it and i went out there with like a baseball bat and swords <laughs> and we're just like Ant boom, planet. Bang. and yeah i'm like i'm killing the ants and my mom was yeah. like what like some sort of animal keeps like destroying these before they can bloom and then one day she caught me out there just like fucking destroying them. And she's like, oh my God, like, no. Like, yeah, but I thought I was healthy. Wait, she, compl- she confided in you saying that these animals are destroying no, them and you kept me. doing she it? You were, you were like, asking about it, like testing your okay. swordsmanship. Like, did yeah. you look at the stock? Like, how did it look yeah. cut? Like, was it cut or chewed on? She's like, it was the sort cleanest of samurai cut. samurai yeah. has been yeah. wandering these fields cutting okay. my... Either a oh, surgeon shit. came by or someone with some damn good edge <laughs> alignment on their on their sword swing came through here. And you're just beaming. You're like, I'll I'll improve yeah. next year when I cut those yeah. fucking things down. Yeah, you should plant more <laughs> next time. Maybe some of them yeah. will put them in an electric yeah. fence or something. <laughs> yeah. What is the fuck are those called? I can't remember. But they are beautiful. I only saw them bloom like once, but mm. they're very before very you cord- got the sword. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after when she made me retire them or uh, two, yeah like on, it was like my seventh birthday or so or like eight, eighth birthday she gave me a bow and my all the rest of my family is like jesus christ like do you like is this all right and she's like yeah he's responsible like it's fine and my brother immediately like him and his friends would shoot them into the air and then catch them before they hit the ground naturally and i remember, yeah. I'm a, like that is the most badass thing I've ever seen. I would never do it. I was way too, way too scared to do that. But they like fucking, they fucked it up with that thing. I would just shoot like trees and, you know, birds and stuff. I would never uh, kill a bird. My my mom. That is it. Is that yes. it? What's those it are called? Pe- peonies. 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 Yes. Yeah, peonies. peonies yeah. yeah. Oh peonies. wow, those are yeah. You you are a real son of a bitch. Like yeah, if someone cut that, if you came over here and cut that. down my wife's peony, she would gut you. Like, yeah. <laughs> your mom yeah. showed some real restraint by not shooting you with that bow yeah. and arrow <laughs> well she taught me she said for each one you cut you know and i mean look <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got dragged oh, into the living room yeah. Yeah. <laughs> god and she just would bash my hand in with a with a the baseball <laughs> bat i use uh, oh. crush it up a little that's why i can't close my hand all the way oh that's rough yeah, my now, technically, yeah. if you cut it from the stem, it will grow black and grow back, right? Yeah, oh, but when it would start right? to grow, he would take that as a yeah. personal slight uh, yeah. that they would rear their yeah. head back up after that intimidation. Oh, that just means he did a really down. good cut. If it was, was growing back, this was also yeah. during ant wars, which is a thing <laughs> that my we would do where there's like you a big, ant. two big ant colonies in our yard, yeah, and. We'd root for one, like, red ants and black ants were, like, fighting in our yard. And it was, like, the most badass, like, animal planet They have a game thing. for that. <laughs> and then my 
Yeah, and then I cheated once. I poured boiling water in the red ant hill. Oh. And then my brother's like, you fucking... You took sides? About it? I remember, well, I remember <laughs> as a kid being like, red ants are evil. Cause they, That's like, like chemical warfare. They actually you bite just... you. Like, fire ants would fuck you up, but yeah. a black ant would just crawl over you and be cool. So I was like, I fucking hate these red you ants. You took a and side? Then, oh, yeah. yeah, we each You're like a, a god my to those was, creatures, and you, you took oh, a side. Oh, I know, yeah. Yeah. And I fucked up there, so then my brother's like, all right, bitch, and he started bashing all the black ants. So I'm like, no, no. <laughs> and and, and then you, you fought like. your brother, so, and you were expecting the black ants to have some sort of statue in your... Oh! <laughs> yeah. Make a I, statue I, for me down, deep down in your ant my, pit. My <laughs> there probably is one. There probably is one. Yeah, I helped what them out was greatly. was your brother, not you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah like they, they fear fucked my up brother. who did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, then I'd kill him if I found a little statue of my brother down there. You're a vengeful. Oh, you're like you're more of a Zeus. You're more of a Zeus type figure. Yeah. <laughs> Any little ah. perceived slight. Disappear. What are you gonna close? I thought you were choking an ant. I was yeah. like, what the force choking a million yeah. ants. Each one, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! God no, damn, my my dude, mom was... didn't trust me with like a bow and arrow because we had people directly behind us. Oh yeah, it's like I woods. asked for a bow and arrow, right? So she gave me shurikens, and oh. so because she was like, he can't whip <laughs> these so hard that it like endangers like the people in the lot behind us. I was more of a samurai. You were more of a ninja. Yeah, that's what's going on? That's, yeah, and uh, <laughs> okay. the shurikens were great. I loved them. Um, lots of fun times. I will admit one uh, something I didn't tell my mom for a while. Uh, I dropped one in the yard and then I ran over it with the lawnmower. <laughs> oh my god! Shuriken comes out at like the speed of light, oh my god. <laughs> and oh. you get, we had like a, one of those hog wire fences. Like it was just a really ghetto fence in the backyard, and like you could hear this thing just going like, like down the fence line oh. as it just hit Jesus everything. Christ. I was like, if that would have went any other direction, it would have fucking mangled something or done some serious property damage. God, yeah. Imagine how different your life would be yeah, if you like killed a neighborhood kid with that or something. <laughs> You're sure that would be all right. I would lay low. I'd That's be like ashamed. But when I grew up and had a podcast, I would boast about that. <laughs> Yeah. One or time, I'm such a I good a ninja fence. that I <laughs> I use the lawnmower to shoot a shuriken at a neighbor kid's head. <laughs> yeah. Classic ninja tactic. Yeah. God, I had like probably a racist book when I was a kid. I got it at a flea market. <laughs> that was like it was like how to be a ninja, and it was like a white guy on the cover. Like yeah. And it was like a ninja training guide with this white guy. And I remember I followed that closely, like how to walk more <laughs> stealthily, like how to run like a ninja, how, all this bullshit. And I used it, though. I, I, I used to swear by that book. And no, I think the guy's just a total hack. I don't think he actually <laughs> knows anything about ninja culture. Dude, uh, I you just brought back so many shitty memories. My behind my grandma's house, like instead of doing ninja stuff, I would do. We would go down to the army surplus store, and my brother would buy camo clothing to, for like paintball. He would play paintball a lot. Yeah. I was too young for paintball, right? So I would get camo clothing because my mom's like, I buy some for him and not for me. I would get camo clothing and like the little things of face paint. That's like a basically oh, yeah. like a compact for a chick, but it has like war colors in it and stuff. And I would go into like the sewage runoff behind my grandma's house for like <laughs> the community. It was just like runoff water. It was a constant Ugh. creek. And I would just get down in like in the creek and like just reworm central and just fucking oh my have God. my face painted. And I would just lay still and I'd be like, nobody will see me. They'll pass right by me and not be able to see me. And, and then like growing up, like. Nobody would ever go back there. Like, I would yeah. there, the, the yeah. chances of somebody being back in the drain runoff shit water was none. Like, yeah. I spent a whole summer in there and it was all shit. I got, dude, I'm I surprised it, I didn't dude. get something because I would, like, if I was getting in the water, I'll take off my shoes. And I stepped oh on, God. I stepped on shards of glass so many times where I was just like bleeding heavily in the water. Oh. Oh and my, my, my God, grandfather so would gross. have to come fish me out because I, I would have a, thing of glass no. going in the bottom of my foot and it'd be like god Water. damn it stop it's the same bottle but your grandpa like, could never go find you though stretch. go to a different stretch of the creek oh jesus christ it's yeah gross. but no, no how how hard how hard was it for him to find you though you know what i mean well, i was just uh he was like oh my god there's just screaming coming from there yeah. 
And then, uh, and then he would see. Yeah. I would never, you know. I would just do like my eyes, be, like, like a raccoon, it over, <laughs> yeah, over. He couldn't see you. I'm right here. <laughs> yeah. Grandpa, it's me. Yeah. Oh, God damn it! I don't see you. God damn my beautiful artistry. I'm like this. Yeah. Like Peta from the Hunger Games. You're just like perfectly camouflaged. That was the... so stupid. He's like, I used to decorate cakes, therefore yeah. I can. I, like he turned himself into like a tree with mushrooms yeah. and shit. I was like, he didn't even have a mirror out there. How the fuck was he doing that? He's just that good. He's yeah. just that good at making cakes. That was the most insane thing. Dude, uh, I used to do a lot of airsoft wars when I was a really little kid with like my older brother, my dad, and my dad's friends. And you know, I was like a little kid, so my they could get me so easy, but I'd be like, ha, ah, this is fun, ha. Huh? And like the scariest thing as a kid is like when you get trapped. And like I remember I still have like a memory of my brother just like getting me up against a tree and I'm like screaming, like, please, like mercy, mercy. And I'm like <laughs> writhing around on the ground, like, just don't shoot me. And he's like, So it's like the only way you can get it out is if I shoot you. Yeah. And then he just pops me one. I'm like, Oh <laughs> like probably start crying i know exactly around. what you're talking about we though. had a it's lot like the, of air the anticipation battles. of, of the, getting yeah hit. it's like yeah. the lead up to it's like just shoot me but the like it's gonna happen at any second it's like you're stuck in a perpetual flinch yeah and you're like yeah. oh, and i had a seizure <laughs> yeah and i rolled down the hill and i smacked my head on a tree and i went into a coma and from that for a while. moment on yeah. i was poob and no longer sam yeah. That's when yeah, <laughs> sam died that day when i was eight <laughs> Uh, but Pooh Christ. was born for every life. <laughs> Hello, must Father. Be a... I am Pooh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the hell's wrong with the kid? <laughs> no like, more airs off. No more airs <laughs> off. <laughs> beat him with the tree again. Put him back. They just kept beating layers into me. Now I'm Papa Pooh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna man. be. I'm gonna be on a podcast. And they're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Keep smacking them with the branches. Uh, yeah, did some real redneck shit. I remember too. It was like, not like playing in just. They were playing like a barn and like the hay bales. Like my little like Kentucky cousin and I would go to my grandma's and you just climb up hay bales that were like twenty high. And then they'd like start falling over. You get crushed by hay and you're like, oh, and then you've got like hay dust all over you and shit. It's like a horrible feeling. Yeah. But we just like, just kind of play around in a bunch of hay bales, like little animals. The, and something, that was like fun. Something I did when I was a kid that is very similar. But I, as I grew up, I realized how insanely dangerous this was. My friend, um, this was like a kid that's kind of. He was an insane liar, and then it turns out that, like, the, some of the things... He had such ridiculous things that he could claim were true that he would use that as an extension to lie about other things. Okay. And so, like, I would catch him in lies and stuff, but then he would say, like, yeah, so at my house I have, like, a four-wheeler with a flamethrower on it. And I was like, no, you don't. And then I go over there, and he is, he's got a flamethrower on the four-wheeler. <laughs> and he's Jesus like, yeah, I have, Christ. like, all this stuff signed by... um. Uh, who's the guy that's like one step for man, man a giant leap for mankind? Uh, Neil Armstrong. Yeah, Neil, Neil Armstrong. Armstrong. He has yeah. a bunch of like autograph stuff from Neil Armstrong. And he's like, yeah, I got like so many Neil Armstrong autographs because like my dad's like best friends with him. I'm like, no, he's not. I go over there and he has like his dad's like friends with Neil Armstrong, yeah. like frame pictures, and they go hunting together. They're like good friends, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but this guy was at a uh, big plantation. And they had grain silos, like, just as far away from any human contact. Like, it was the oh, far corner. Oh, dude, those are so dangerous. And we would open up the top hatch and jump oh down God. into the grain. And then we would, like, have to wade and swim our way to the door, the hatch door on the side, open it and try to climb out. But, like, sometimes you jump in and, like, you would just go, like, under your head. Like, you would just yeah, kind of slip. No, and yeah. you would be like, ooh. Die in those. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely yeah, a scary, they're right. incredibly dangerous. I used to have a reoccurring nightmare when I was a kid. Where <laughs> it, it, it was like variants of like drowning in one of those or going in like a big one of those water towers. Yeah, and it'd be pitch yeah. black, and I'd fall into it, and there'd be a shark in there with me, mm. <laughs> and I'm just like drowning, and a shark's ripping me up. Uh, my mine's um, very similar to that, but it's it's a 
like a murky shitty like holding pond you know how they get like algae and stuff over the top yeah and i'm waiting in it for some reason of course when you're waiting you can't fucking move <laughs> nearly as fast and i just realized that like alligator eyes are right there next uh, to me because if you go to any God. holding pond around here you can just like look and go like there's one there's one <laughs> like they're just everywhere around here yeah but yeah. just like having one right next to you that you didn't even realize because they just they blend in so well <laughs> especially yeah. shit like that that's that was a recurring nightmare of mine for a long time but it's like the florida version of a poop town. yeah yeah we've got a lot of sharks in indiana <laughs> a lot so. of I mean, water since, tanks with sharks yeah, in water them. tanks with the sharks flavor. in them yeah. how do i know there's not sharks in those i've never been inside one that's true yeah. a good place to keep a shark did not you guys really, hear that huge <laughs> mystery about the, the there's like all the security footage of this lady in a um in an apartment building in new york where she's like checking every corner she's walking up to and and like she's Ugh. she keeps going in like the elevator and like looking out towards the hallway like seeing if someone's following her and then uh she disappears from the the security cameras and then all the tenants in the apartment building start tasting their their water tastes funny and they were complaining about clogs and uh, shit and it turns out yeah. that she they found her body in the oh, water tank know, on yeah. top and the door uh. was closed with all it was locked from the outside yeah so they they think someone like pushed her in there and then locked it behind her and so she literally yeah. died like your nightmare minus the shark which might be even more terrifying Ugh. to just sit there in a, a cold water tank in the pitch black at least a shark will take you out in like a second yeah my camera oh, just really oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i did it really added to the horror yeah. element yeah. Like, that's so unsettling dude yeah, yeah i remember reading I've that i've heard of that like, it's yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah, like a mega mystery yeah i think like what's funny is the easiest answer is probably the one that happened and like the best hypothesis i've seen is she crawled in and then the maintenance guy walks by and goes like oh the tank's unlocked and he just like locked it and kept walking but why did she crawl in? Because she's insane. She thought someone was chasing her. I don't know. Or um, what if someone she, she tried to hide her? Yeah, so like she's her... like, oh, there's a, here's a place to hide and like jumps in there because it was left open. What a doofus. Yeah. I was going to say somebody came through a helicopter and just... I was about, it, it makes more sense yeah. than like <laughs> Threw in. someone that didn't appear in any CCTV <laughs> yeah. footage snuck their way That's in a... like Leon the Professional. Like that, <laughs> it doesn't make Could sense. Be. Could be a Leon the Professional yeah. type. It could have been or Spider like Man or something. He climbed type. up the outside of the building, got up down yeah. the roof. I mean, all those roofs you can jump across. <laughs> I've seen Spider Man. Someone could have just jumped from another roof. Yeah, not even a Spider Man, but a Man Man. It's a regular man. It's even scarier. <laughs> yeah, Spider Man. There's a lot more of those. That's terrifying. Hmm. Oh, that's so gross, though. Jesus Christ! Imagine drinking the water. You yeah, you being drink one of those people. people. Oh, these yeah. these women. Ah, what is that? Yeah. Ah. Like, I washed my yeah, baby dude. with this water. Like, yeah. oh my god! You think they got money or something? Can you like I, sue the? It building doesn't matter there? what they ran through those pipes. Like I a, wouldn't trust that water again. I would just move. Uh, no, right? you know, yeah. like they could say, "Oh yeah, we fished her out and we put some uh, chlorine in there." I'd be like, "No, that doesn't wash out dead Chinese woman." Like. Well, her soul still in there, yeah. Yeah, her the hair soul, and shit, yeah, sh and like I'm assuming she probably shit herself after she died, and like that can be stuck in like your the what's that thing called the little water grate that's in your faucet to make sure it doesn't get clogged. The p trap? No, uh, not the p trap. The, they have like no, this the, little just the, the little valve, like the little fence thing. Oh, I know you're yeah. talking. I don't know what the fuck. It's gonna have like all yeah. her hair and shit all caught up in it. Ugh. Yucky. Yucky. Yeah. Yeah, never go there. You know? Yeah, I'm never gonna go to that building and drink their water. <laughs> as often as I'm <laughs> testing out random Someday. tap water. Yeah, brag more. I'm out. I'm out of that <laughs> little magic milk Sam sipping on. Wait, what's magic I milk? I am see almost the... out. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about this magic milk? Yeah. It's been real hard to fall asleep these days. <laughs> My dreams have been very in depth. I had like a, I had the HBO marketer's wet dream of dreams last night where I had a crossover of Euphoria and Succession in my, in my dream. So that was cool. I'm definitely consuming too much media. Mm. Uh, you said HBO? <laughs> yeah, they're both HBO shows. Uh, mm. I, I, for I, some reason, I thought you 
Never mind. What? You thought I meant what? <laughs> no, I, I thought I, my mind is all fucked up. For some reason, I thought you were talking about Comcast, but my mind is shitty. And I was like, what is euphoria and like succession? Oh, Comcast. Comcast. Yeah. yeah, my mind is shitty. Yeah, well, then say a joke. Shit brain. Tell a joke. You're a funny guy. <laughs> yeah. uh, I was on the phone with a Comcast lady <laughs> last night, and she told me that Why? they're going to charge me a shitload of money if I don't return my equipment to oh, your equipment yeah, yeah I, but when i moved i didn't turn it in <laughs> and then but my brother Shape. moved into my old house and just started using my modem and stuff <laughs> and i was like i don't know what you can transfer yeah i was like yeah he's using that stuff and he has like an xfinity account and she was like oh okay she's like i don't know how to put that in the system i was like i mean how much are they gonna charge me she's like 250 bucks i was like fuck it i don't fucking care just charge <laughs> me <laughs> Uh, fuck you, you bitch. Fuck yeah. you. And she's like, "Are you serious?" I'm like, "I got. I'm not bringing that shit down there. Like, I, I work during the day, and I'm not bringing a one and a three year old all the way over to Comcast. It's not happening. Those places like, suck. So you just own that? Yeah, now? I do. No, I guess. No, I mean, my brother owns it technically. I guess. I don't know. He's using it. You should go take it from him now that <laughs> you own it. You should charge Dude, him. He needs every little handout he can get. Is is. Fucking uh, life should, sucks right now. You should now. charge him monthly. Uh, you should have him back on the podcast then. Uh, I'm having something better than him on the podcast. What's better than... Wait, I'm not what's on the podcast. Him? I'm, uh, I'm going to cook a bunch of bad food from Reddit and force feed him. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not better Wait, for Wait, I thought you were going to eat that. Yeah. Oh, that's Wait, well, you that's what's funnier is, is like, yeah. well, if the first uh, episode you, does yeah. well, then I'll, I'll do another one where... I'm going to cook these bad, bad food porn recipes and then make him eat it because it, I still, I, okay, okay. And I'm definitely going to make it very obvious that like, Oh, you know, his life is basically a bedrock right now. Recently divorced. He ain't got no money and he's getting paid $500 to eat this dog shit. <laughs> and I, and I'm going to hold it over his head. You got to finish every last bite or else God, you're not yeah, getting that you, body. You really, yeah, you, oh my God. And it's just, just all the times there, you like, picked oh. on me. <laughs> Each meal you have, that's one letter in my signature to this check yep. of five hundred dollars. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I own you now, okay? Yeah. And you that's, my that's when house. I'm gonna pull out that yeah. recipe. That's a, a crab boiled in Pepsi Max for two hours <laughs> uh, on a so baguette. <laughs> uh, yeah, and conveniently, uh, I didn't work that one into the first video because I didn't want to eat it myself. That's <laughs> the worst. Well, I'll that's eat the tri sandwich. sandwich. Yeah, you the get the crab sandwich. Pepsi. Hey, I had the tri yeah. sandwich for breakfast this morning because that's what I was working on for the first half of the day. Oh, tri sandwich in bed. What the hell's the tri it's sandwich? Just a regular sandwich, but it's <laughs> it's three pieces of bread, so it's it's in like a triangle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. it's like a sandwich. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a sandwich, so but not as easy to hold. Uh, <laughs> it definitely uh. fell apart. <laughs> But I haven't had like white bread in forever, so that was awesome to eat some sunbeam white, Dude, oh beautiful bread. God. I was never allowed to have white bread growing up, and I go what to my cousins fuck? in Ohio and eat white bread and butter sandwich Hell and be yeah. like, "This is the best thing I've ever had in my entire life." It's like the most white trash, like Wonder Bread and butter. Dude, my, but, like, speaking of my brother, he God would damn. eat that at my. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. Oh it wasn't God. a butter sandwich. It was a mayonnaise sandwich. White bread, oh, mayonnaise, that's white so bread. That's it. And he ate so many of those in one day. And then my grandma was like, "He's leaving like little oil spots everywhere he sits." <laughs> <laughs> it turns out he ate so much mayonnaise he, he just had like an oil leak coming so out of his gross. asshole <laughs> but like That's everywhere so he, he, dude, he would sit there and try to watch shows and shit fuck? and you know how like four year olds are they don't just sit in a seat and watch <laughs> they move dude if they let a four year old eat that many yeah. mayonnaise sandwiches <laughs> oh my God. they don't fucking know right oh my God. They, who, who the hell thought that was gonna happen he just had the well, like, no not for the like snail trail, trail the fucking yeah. just fact that a child is it's eating a, it's that a, many a grandma grandmas don't say no they go hell yeah honey you uh, want another mayonnaise yeah, you want your, your eighth mayonnaise sandwich <laughs> yeah. on white bread okay oh that is so uh, a little trail is so gross uh, yeah <laughs> oily discharge from all the mayonnaise yeah. god <laughs> dude those must have been the most runny shits ever. yeah Holy crap. you know what's funny is uh there's a guy that abby used to date that me and him were uh, best friends growing Wait. up 
and they dated in like they yeah they did in like problems. elementary or not elementary school okay. uh, middle school they did in middle school from like oh. sixth grade to some of seventh grade yeah um my now bitch you jealous yeah, oh, yeah. Me, me and him uh and he's like sloppy his name was matthew cool. we were like really good friends in elementary school and we were like wrestling in the living room and my mom's like i smell like shit like <laughs> did one of you shit your pants we're like no and we're still like wrestling really hard and she like check, she went and checked his <laughs> pants, and he totally had shit himself. And then she was still smelling it. She checked my pants. I shit myself. Too. <laughs> Dude, you, we're both just you both. we're both just shitting and wrestling. You know how it is. <laughs> and these were Abby's done. two potential suitors. <laughs> if it wasn't me, it was him, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the grossest things I've ever. Wait, in elementary school, elementary you did school. this. We were like oh, old, like right your shit. fourth or fifth grade. Like we were way too old. Fourth fourth shit. Grade. Like, dude, I would never shit my pants in fourth or fifth grade. Yeah, and if no. I did, I would be changing yeah. immediately. Yeah. I would not. <laughs> fourth or fifth grade. Just for the record, one year oh. after this, she oh. would be dating this guy, and then oh. a year later, she'd Florida be dating this breed. guy. The two shitters. Oh, shit wrestling, pants, it's like rubbing around in each other's yeah. stinking shit. Yeah. Dude, you know some of that shit crossed over, too. Yeah. Dude, how are you the same person as that person that in fourth or fifth grade did that? Like, <laughs> Oh, my God. In fourth grade, I was reading encyclopedias with a cappuccino <laughs> by the fire. Not yeah. me. I just, I, I was still, so I hadn't learned who I oh. was yet. So I was so desperate to fit in. I was just like trying to, I was, he, I was he moved his pants? Yeah. yeah. I was yeah, trying to follow his, his lead. I was like, oh, this is like yeah. what you do when you wrestle with homies. You just shit your pants a little bit. <laughs> oh, we're going all out. All yeah. right. Let's do so sorry. I just came into peer pressure more than you. On my oh. off time when I wasn't oh. wrestling, cappuccinos and documentaries, stuff like that. Oh my god, fun. dude, that's so <laughs> fucking gross. It's so vile. Oh my god. So your brother wait, fucking wait, had, you act had like you like never a had a, a shit your I mean, pants I've never, no. I've never okay, shit dude, my I pants one in my... proximity to someone. What were you were you eating mayo sandwiches no, too? No, like, no. Why, how do you even shit? I have a good one about oh, Zach where he's like 14. We were just having like a huge oh, family bash with like it was like a birthday party too, so like a bunch of my friends were over. And he went to go kick a soccer ball for someone, like to someone, because the ball had rolled to him. And he like went to go kick it back. And when his leg lifted up to kick, he instantly just jettisoned shit, shit his pants. But then he was like, if I don't move, it won't shift and come out my pants leg. And so he he was just, there was a whole party of people, dude. Everybody was walking around getting burgers and stuff. And he was just standing dead still in the middle of the yard for like 12 minutes before my mom's like, did he have a stroke? Like he's still standing there. <laughs> and he's just sitting, he's just standing there with a fucking pants full of shit. Uh, you guys are so, it must yeah, have been your diet or something. Yeah. I never uh, shit. My mom's I've never on the like, mayonnaise wow. sandwiches. What are you <laughs> Uncontrollably yeah. shit myself unless I was like really <laughs> sick. Unless I was like viciously ill. Uh, one of my, one of my best friends did in elementary school. Yeah. Like while he was running. A turd just like whoop right down his pant leg, <laughs> and he just like saw it happen and just kept running. He's like, if I like, go fast enough, no, the distance between no me one notices. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that is so fucking gross. You know, you and your family are fucking disgusting. Yeah. You know what's a really good one is he uh, Zach shit related again. He would he lived with my grandparents for a while. And my grandfather was really good at like fucking cereal shit or making mayo sandwiches. No, no. He, <laughs> his whole pur uh, like purpose in life he thought was to make sure me and my brother became men. Uh, Boy, he those. fucked up. He fucked up. Yeah. yeah. If he could see it now. Yeah. He uh Is he still alive or no? No, he I I told him he was the best man at my wedding and then he died before my wedding came up. <laughs> Oh my god! Selfish, Ouch. selfish. I was like, "Damn, dude! Rude. Like, just you could have said no. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, you could have just like declined. You didn't have to say, dude. I would be uh, honored. Yeah. This is the greatest moment of my yeah. life." <laughs> oh, he, he like forced <laughs> back immediately after. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll show him. He just fucking gives himself a heart dude. Attack, he you know? he was the funniest guy though. That's that's why if he knew I was laughing about it, he'd be like, "Hell yeah." <laughs> Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but he's not going to complain about it. Anyways, yeah. my brother moved in with uh, him. 
and my brother was supposed to be working around their house and stuff to pay for his rent. Uh, mm. And they noticed that like he would go to the bathroom for like 40 minutes at a time. And they didn't get like smartphones that that was a thing. Right. And so my brother, of course, is in there whacking off. Like, <laughs> what else are you doing? Yeah. You know, if you're living with your grandparents and then you have to yeah, I gotta go take a dump for like 40 minutes. He's definitely in there whacking off. But they are like, he has pooping problems and he's embarrassed to tell us. So we'll put laxatives in his food <laughs> oh <laughs> to, my God. to help him out because his poops are taking so long. Like retired people have nothing going on in their life. So they just obsess about some weird thing. <laughs> And they just latched yeah. on to the amount of time that he spent because he just didn't want to rake the yard all fucking day. And like, whatever the hell they, yeah. they had him doing redundant shit. So he's like, fuck it. I'll blow off like half the day in the bathroom. Like I'll take a dump at like 10 a.m. And then I'll take a dump at two. And they started like lacing his lunch and stuff. with like, <laughs> And he's like, I, dude, I can't stop having diarrhea. Like, what? <laughs> I think you can die from that. Like working out in the August, yeah. the August heat, sweating your ass off. And then you're dehydrated because your grandparents yeah, yeah. are lacing your shit with laxatives. <laughs> oh my god dude <laughs> yeah we have a real like think. shit related family like just every yeah. every little story is about shit shit in, the cell, shit in a bunch yeah. Yeah. dude that, that's awesome though that they're just fucking giving him laxatives <laughs> without his knowledge his or permission yeah. Yeah. how old like was he at this Why time yeah. he was like 20 like he 14. was away. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought you said he was 14 no the 14 no, was, 14 was when he did the kick thing no <laughs> this is when he was like he had moved out and then he had failed <laughs> failed to launch and moved back in but then my mom was like get um, out of here and so she he moved in with them oh, oh my yeah. god yeah maybe uh, older than that it was uh yeah that was a funny time i feel like brian doesn't have any of these because he's just, it was just him and his I mom any brothers it's yeah just, yeah I, I i didn't have any brothers or nothing that you shit. didn't have a single neighborhood <laughs> friend i had neighborhood buddies yeah but you guys like, never shit and wrestled <laughs> <laughs> no Yawn. we wrestled but we never the only I already told you this story. The only shit related thing that I have that happened with my neighborhood friend was that well, I took a massive snake shit in his his toilet. It was like a it was like a foot long legitimately and it was like a, it was long ways across the toilet and I didn't know how to get rid of it so I <laughs> we had to call his dad and his dad came in there and just like poured like Oh, scolding hot water onto my shit until it would break down and flush and i was Dude, just sitting there oh my god you, I, you should have figured that out before you got, wait how old were you for you dad I was, dude i was like seven I was oh, okay. Like, okay so okay. If, if that was you yeah. poop how would you do it uh would you reach I your hand my, in there my shit went sideways yeah. uh yeah well first off i'm assuming there was no Breaking plunger no plunger or toilet bowl cleaner no well there was but i wasn't gonna fucking well, I would first use one oh of those God. and try and mash it down there. If not, yeah, I guess I'd get a toilet paper glove and kind of just grab it, turn it. <laughs> yeah. A toilet yeah. paper glove, it would just get soggy and rip apart. You'd it doesn't matter. I'd shit. still rather get shit on oh. my hand and then wash my hand really well. Then than walk out and go, shitter's clogged. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shitter's <laughs> clogged. Go pour boiling hot water. The smell from that was probably... Yeah, it was gross. Incredibly <laughs> bad. My friend, dude, dude. No, it was fucked up. It was me and like my friend and his older brother and his dad were all in the bathroom marveling over this thing. And like they, they, I was in the back. They were gagging, and his dad was like stone cold, just like pouring oh, it. Like, dude, yeah, I'd rather die before that happened to me. Like, I was <laughs> like, I don't know. I was the type of kid. Like, I would die oh, of some sort of embarrassment. You should have scolded them. I would eat the turn. <laughs> Made it act yeah. like it was their fault. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, you know, on, most man. families would have like a poop cutting knife on the back of the yeah. toilet. <laughs> like, yeah. Where's the poop, poop knife? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> The poop spatula. Yeah. I don't even or like know. a wire clothes hanger or something. Like, come yeah. on. You guys are inconsiderate. Yeah. yeah think, be a better a host next time. Yeah. Shoot it with a bow. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, uh, my first sleepover oh. at my friend's house, I pissed all over his bed and then woke up and was oh, like, oh, God. no. Dude. And so I got up in the morning and I quickly just remade the bed. I was like, maybe they just won't notice. It'll dry out or something. 
Were you not sleeping in the same bed? As no, no, no. You're in a different. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're not gay. So we, uh, oh. I ended up like we were going out playing and stuff, and I realized that they had the whole family besides me and Gavin. <laughs> me and Gavin were out in the backyard playing. They had the whole family like hoisting this piss covered mattress onto the railing <laughs> of their balcony so it could air dry in the backyard. Uh. <laughs> Dude, that's so gross. Me and my boys would sleep in the same bed because, I mean, no one had an extra <laughs> bed, you know, mm. like we weren't the one person. So, uh, yeah, yeah. there's a couple of times where my friend would straight up piss the bed with like three people in it. And we'd wake <laughs> up, like my, one of my friends yeah, had like a real issue it. with Who's it. Who's the joke? Yeah, like yeah. none of us pissed the bed except this one guy. And if you like, you wake up in the morning. I remember one time I was like on top of one of his stuffed animals, like an island in this piss sea and it was like a, it was like it was like honestly like i don't know probably like a five foot tall gorilla so it was a huge stuffed animal and i was like up on it in the whole bed's like soaking wet oh yeah and it is like the oh. grossest fucking like i hated that because i i just didn't pee the bed often so like having someone else's pee on you too yeah. is so gross yes. my, yeah. my gross, dad yeah. to get a, my dad would always if he, he told me if he ever peed the bed when he was a kid He'd be like, oh, Mom, like, can I have a glass of apple juice? And then when she'd hand it to him, he'd be like, whoa, 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 and spill it all over himself in the bed. <laughs> that, that and be like, just so comically, right there, like, dude, that was the height. <laughs> like, like yeah. oh, look, now there's apple juice all over the bed. And she like, she, like, she catches it. on and she's like, no, you come to me. And like, he, yeah. she, she gives it to him like eight feet the away and he still yeah. juggles it across Whoa. the room onto the mattress. <laughs> across the room. Oh my God. Whoa, this is a slippery glass. Oh. I'm going to drink this in bed. Bye, mom. <laughs> I need a picture this time. I... <laughs> it it was like a, like a big Tootsie Roll or something. Like, <laughs> Whoa, whoa the tootsie roll fell right in between my legs. <laughs> it's all squished up. Oh, my, my thighs uh, heated it up and melted it, and it's liquid all over. Yeah. Mom, do you have like, oh a, like a can of open corn and like a tootsie yeah. roll? Yeah. I'm, really, yeah. I'm so Great. hungry. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I want popcorn turtles and a Snickers bar yeah. right now. Oh, you know what would be so good, Mom, right now? <laughs> Get two liter apple juice, some corn on the cob. <laughs> Tootsie roll. roll. Just maybe Snickers, maybe some pudding. Oh, I think how good that would be in bed, Ma. Whoa, 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 whoa. The whole time you're acting like you're dropping it, you're mushing yeah. the corn yeah. into the fucking yeah. chocolate. Whoopsie. Oh, God. <laughs> Dip it in the pudding. Oh, yeah. spraying it all yeah. over the bed. Yeah. Oh, we Girls like, God damn it! <laughs> Same yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah. more embarrassing. I can assure yeah. you. Oh, uh, uh, so where my it's happened more than once, right? Or, yeah, where my grandma just never oh. caught on. It was like, God, this is the clumsiest <laughs> fucking kid in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he never drinks apple juice unless it's nice. He started slipping a muscle relaxer to uh, yeah. cool him down because he seems so tense every time he tried grabbing. Yeah. <laughs> Laxatives and muscle relaxers <laughs> and, yeah. and horse tranquilizer. And my dad would just lay in the bed and seep out shit out of his butt. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it just, apple it, juice. <laughs> it just never ended with the infinite cycle. Yeah, he was bedridden oh, for a couple of years there. Oh. <laughs> He specifically wants microwaved apple juice too. Yeah, I'm disappointed I never used that move though. Yeah. I know he's yeah. If I did <laughs> pee the, bed, the apple I'd juice just, meme. Yeah, I'd just be like, what age okay, did you pee like, the bed till? I don't know, like four or something. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. I don't know why I laughed. That's reasonable. <laughs> like three or four. Like I don't really remember peeing the bed much. It would be like I never peed I'd, the bed because I like I'm the friend too. 
that if I, we're about to have like a sleepover, I'm like, did everyone try to go pee? <laughs> like, especially my one friend. Dude, I don't you're know, that fucking kid. You wouldn't have been invited <laughs> for a second go around. Dude, okay, yeah. Welcome that, oh, into the my biggest bed. Buzz, he the lays, biggest he buzz kill in, in the world. And he's hey, dude, he, hey, dude, you're a habitual <laughs> Be or er, bed pisser. Why don't you make sure you piss? <laughs> oh, never come to my house again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, like, because I don't know how he did. Like, I, I guess I, you know, I, I pee often. I can't go to bed. <clears throat> like, if I don't take a piss right before I go to bed, I'm like, what the fuck? It bothers to you, this right? Yeah. Day, I'll see this friend. Like, we've just been out for a while. Like, Pissed we've been himself. drinking. He's like, he's like, all right, good night. We'll just go to his bedroom and go to bed. I'm like. How? Like what are you not gonna go piss? Like what? Yeah. Like when we were kids, I'm like, dude, you gotta wake up. Like you fell asleep while we're watching this movie. Like you're gonna piss on me if you don't go fucking pee right now. I'm like no, I'm good. Like I'm good. Like how? He is kind of a it's camel though. Like you, you can go the whole trip to Florida, like a 12 hour drive straight, and be like, nah, I'm good. Like I don't have to pee. I go to bed to like pee. really having to pee. Sometimes I'll like what? lay down and I'll be like, why? I'll be like, mm, I really have to piss. Now I'll Dude, do it I in the morning. I can't do that. If I no, wake I look, up. I hate that. No. I wake up and my same. kidneys hurt for sure. But yeah, the other day I woke up and I was like, oh, I've kind of got to pee. And then I fell back asleep for like four more hours. And then I woke up and it felt like piss and shit were like pushing on my stomach <laughs> outwards and like my kidneys and everything hurt. I had the most <clears> painful <throat> shit of my life. Just because it was like I was fighting, they were both so full I couldn't get one out to be straight. Like I could barely pee. I had to pee so bad. Yeah. Oh, and I hate that. Where like, you like you you open the floodgates and it's like not even yeah. that hard of a piss because it's like we were drying up in there. It's like a clog or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah dude. I, yeah. I shit for like thirty minutes straight of like a little bit at a time, and then like pee would like, <laughs> and then it'd stop. Yeah. I'm like, I, I, there's so much more in there. Like I know there is. Yeah. Oh god. Dude, you really got a bed and having to pee. That is so disturbing. That's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I How did you pee until I was seven? You probably still pee the bed, dude. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. changes the no. I would probably piss the bed now if I didn't <clears throat> pee before I went to bed. I mean, I w wouldn't know, but... Oh, I guess that's not true, because sometimes I'll, like, get really fucked up, and then I'll just, like, wake up on a couch, and I didn't... Oh, that's, like, one of my biggest fears, though, is, like, getting <laughs> really dance, hammered and then peeing at someone's house, or, like... What if yeah, you, you like fall back now? You what if you like juice. hook up with like a girl or something and you piss the bed? Like it's so like, uh. yeah. Hey, like, can I get some apple, me an apple juice? juice? Yeah, <laughs> you got any? Got any yeah, I'm OJ. sure that'll work for. <laughs> can you serve me apple juice in bed? I would rather say I drink a lot and piss. Like that's way better than being like. You are the I'm host. I'm not going to pay for dry cleaning. <laughs> yeah, you should yeah. <laughs> serve me in bed. Like I would much rather just piss the bed, honestly. No. No. <laughs> no I'd, I'd try it. I mean, you, you, you have to have apple juice, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. wait. Uh, you know that? Have you guys seen that subreddit like today I fucked up? Yeah. There was, oh, yeah. There was a great one where guys like, I went on a Tinder date with a girl and she, before we went into the restaurant, she passed me a joint. I went to go smoke some. I coughed so hard that I puked and then I shit my pants <laughs> off. While I was puking, and she was really <laughs> cool fuck? about it though, and we're going on a second date. Oh my god! What the fuck? I was like, "What? What a colossal!" That's an Abby. That's an Abby right there, dude. This <laughs> lady's yeah. desperate. If she you're puking you and shitting that, yeah. in her car, <laughs> yeah, that would definitely give me the ick. If someone <laughs> coughed so hard they threw up, that's already bad enough. And then shitting your pants on top of that—that's like, that's like, I, I think that actually. <laughs> Maybe it's a good omen. My my dad and my stepmom on like one of their first dates, they ended up like through these circumstances. Basically, they were in Puerto Rico because my my step family just has like a subsect of Puerto Rican like family members, and they just were like, "Hey, you guys, like you should come, like bring your new boyfriend or whatever." Or, like they were, they barely known each other, but she's like, "Hey, you want to come?" and my dad like shit his pants on the first date basically <laughs> like yeah. they were out somewhere he's like wow i like he ate something was like i really gotta go to the bathroom and they were like hustling back to the hotel 
and something happened you just had to be like yeah like i don't know how to say this but like i shit my <laughs> pants and has were, he learned nothing they're totally cool he's like yeah i don't know how to tell you this i need a snickers bar right now <laughs> yeah, this is the, yeah like he stops dead in his track <laughs> no i'm pretty sure it's like too far gone like uh, it was like <clears throat> it was soupy or something i've never yeah, had, they're married now have you ever had like a a, a shit emergency like that like i've never had it at home the other morning it's never it's, woke it's up, always when you're out and been. about it's always when you're like i've never had just explosive diarrhea like at this situation where i can go like <laughs> be right back guys and then just go do the bathroom it's always <laughs> you're at disney world or something like you're just yeah. you're just at a, a place or like I, I remember when I was in New York, I, we were on a ferry, and as soon as the ferry left the dock, I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> my bowels <laughs> are turning, yeah. It was, I yeah. never really get close to shitting myself, peeing way more often, but, like, if I just have to shit really bad, if I just hold it long enough, it just kind of goes away, you know? It crawls back up shit. in you. I just, yeah, don't it, get, like, it, it diarrhea depends on the shit or anything. Yeah. Huh. Anyways, now that we're done with shit talk, let's end it here. Wait. Okay. Yeah. What? Poo -poo. You mentioned that video with your brother that you're going to do. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. still, I, I like that idea of the landscape photos <laughs> video. Let me know if that you ever want to enact on that. I just, uh, I just Whoa. set a pre-order for a pair of uh, lav mics that can then be recorded to one transceiver or one receiver. <clears throat> and in English, please. The point is, is that <laughs> I now have a way to mic both you and me up independently from one camera. Oh. So that cool. we, we could just have like a cameraman and then we could walk 820 feet from each other and from the camera and still be talking <clears throat> to the lav. Oh, very cool. Yeah. What is this video idea? It was the dumbest video really? idea that would just be funny because of how serious the subject matter is. And it would we would get large format film cameras, like Ansel Adams style cameras with big wooden tripods. And we would just go out into the wilderness and do landscapes. This is already just like a oh dream of mine is to just like take cool landscape photos from beautiful places. So yeah, fuck yeah. And we, and we would and then make it funny. Yeah, make of, it funny. But also and we serious. would like arguing about stuff because it's like I think I think those are like seventeen to twenty dollars in exposure for like every picture you take is like oh, seventeen to twenty dollars. Yeah, you have to yeah have to get it right. Yeah, so the it, framing I, and everything. I'll be like, let me check your focus, dude. Like I just don't feel like your eyes are capable of getting the focus required by this thing. I've got a real raw natural talent though no training needed i guess <laughs> just yeah some of the best talent is the stuff you pick up just mere seconds after starting something so like you're gonna yeah. get this large format camera which i'm sure you've never touched one in your life <laughs> and you're just gonna be like i know it inside and out like yeah put when your I, head under the curtain thing i've seen an old-timey movie i'm an expert I picked up my guitar for the first time i was playing it behind my head like <laughs> <laughs> Fuck just fingers! I'm just going on to the. Yeah. You started instantly, <laughs> yeah. instantly doing the the violin bow and shit, like all the weird yeah. stuff that people only pick up after they're experts. <laughs> One uh, of those yeah, percussion guys. <laughs> Yeah, have you awesome. seen those dudes that like slap the outside of the guitar and then play it and pick it yeah they fucking oh, yeah. fuck those guys yeah because their guitars really always cool. look like dog shit and i'm like yeah there's a difference between willie nelson having the same guitar for 58 years and it's worn down and you playing like an asshole for four months <laughs> and your guitar looks like his like come on yeah it's like yeah. people that take it to campfire and they're like <laughs> and they do a little <laughs> drum beat and then they go oh, i hate that shit <laughs> Fuck it them, can dude. be good, fuck but them. yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Anyway. Or just good. people that are capable of like playing instruments and have talent. Yeah. Fuck you too. I hate that. Yeah, dude. I'm Uppity. so fucking jealous of those people. No, don't say that. Well, no, I hate then them. Then I know. It's like hey, everyone wobbles, in my family but you. me. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, wobbles, fuck you. <laughs> it's like, why do my... Like, all my siblings are so good at it. They just skip me. They skip me. They're like, let's give music training to these ones. And then, well, you know, what do we give Poob? Okay, what do we give Poob? How about he can, uh, I can figure it out. Give they him a named you Poob, the so they obviously <laughs> didn't yeah, have they high did. hopes Yeah, for they you. were. <laughs> he 
does. He's already so funny. That's what they said. He's just such a funny little guy. He's funny looking. <laughs> yeah. funny looking yeah, he's Kyle. funny looking for sure. We definitely don't need to <laughs> give him anything. Dude, you want to hear some heartbreaking shit? When I was in. Not really. When, sad is it? <laughs> when I was in band in like uh, middle school, like my mom was talking to Mr. Perigo, the <laughs> band teacher. Beep. And I don't care. Like oh. <laughs> he taught over like a 25 year period. <laughs> Mr. Perigo was fucking awesome. The okay. guy, he was get this, listen to this. Uh, this guy was like a Renaissance man. He was a pole vaulter, <laughs> a race car driver and a band teacher. <laughs> and yeah, that's and pretty... like, as like, um, treats and stuff. If we did well, he would do like a big field trip where we would go to the fun station across the street and they had, um, they had a go-kart track he would destroy all of us because he would do like what's that called the trailing and stuff, and then he would take us over uh, on corners no. and and then like, you, as he would like yeah. Yeah, yeah as he would pass yeah, by he, he would poke us in the eyes did. really quick as his arms were longer yeah hey hey come here I gotta tell you something bam <laughs> fucking I saw him tinkering out. with other kids engines before the beginning <laughs> of the race and everything yeah. cut the fucking <laughs> brake line <laughs> like Phantom Menace. Yeah. Kids were spinning yeah. on oil slicks and yeah. shit that he had pre put out there. Oh, all this banana is so yeah. good. Whoop! Throw yeah. it over his yeah. shoulder. Yeah. He was like, Susie forgot to play the clarinet, right? The last recital. He's over there tinkering with her shit. <laughs> Taking drops up. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in that instance, he was a bad man. But as a teacher, he was a great guy. And uh, but I did overhear him, like my mom going, "Oh, is he as good as Zach? Because Zach was like a golden boy. My brother was like a, the really musically so minded, and Perigo yeah. was just like, yeah. no, <laughs> like uh, so he, huh. he, he was just like, no, nah, Sam ain't got it. <laughs> Not nearly. Oh and ever God. since then, I was just lacklusterly play the tuba. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, the yeah. tuba, of course. Uh, now, where all fat kids go to be yeah. silent. He started me out. I, I tried out for percussion. He said, you have no rhythm. Cracker ass motherfucker. And then <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, what about you. like uh, trumpet or something like that? And he put me on trumpet and I sounded so bad. He moved me to baritone. And then I sent, he was like, I can still hear this fucking guy. And so he put me on tuba. He was just like, I want to put him on something where he can mess up as much as possible and you can barely hear it to put you on like triangle or something <laughs> yeah that's the How percussion are you bad? section like, yeah. what i don't you know, know. I, I, have no, I have no rhythm dude i got nothing uh, yeah. well look where rhythm got your brother okay a nasty <laughs> divorce <laughs> yep. and not even his own router and, and he can't can't it in <laughs> pants that he shits in all the time yes. yeah. Yeah. in dirty dirty shit pants so. yeah. <laughs> yeah fuck him and fuck that teacher hey go eat your fucking mayo sandwiches you <laughs> <bitch>. <laughs> yeah all right now let's end it <laughs>